Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. You have reached the door. And it speaks. My mysterious tension-building track. Here we go. Yeah. You're at the door. And it speaks. Hello. Molly is otherwise occupied and cannot come to the door right now. Please return another time. Alternatively, if you are a spellcaster, please cast a spell in the presence of this door to be allowed entrance. Warning. Molly does not want to see other people right now. God damn it. Okay. What did it say? I couldn't hear it. How far is the bird on the roof? On the middle of the roof. Oh. Okay. Just you can crawl token. onto the thatched roof if you want. <laughs> do, not, do not do it. Can I like tie a rope to a javelin? Javelin the bird and like reel it in like fishing? Yeah, give me a roll to hit against the dead bird. Uh, All right. um, the dead bird's prone. Uh, 13. Uh, does the bird have natural AC or armor? Uh, 13. I would 13 have pluses okay. to that too. Yeah, so yeah, you skewer the, the Arakara. The Arakara. Yeah. Okay. I reel him back in. <laughs> the bird comes back in, rolls off the edge of the house, hits the ground with a crisp splat. Well, can I catch him? Wait. Give me a dexterity check. This right. bird's not going to roll exactly the way you want it to. Yeah, you catch it, no problem. All right. Well, I got you, friend. <clears throat> Ka. <laughs> okay, I I bring Ka's body outside the uh, little area here, right. and I loot him with respect uh, to Ephra. All right. There's a deck of cards with strange symbols on them, um, the holy symbols of Ephra, um, a polearm, spears, leather harness, and uh, Asper's shield. If anyone wants a shield. Cool. All righty. I want the shield. I'll take the shield. Go yeah, for it. It's Asper's shield, um, AC2. What are you guys doing? For Ephra. God damn. <clears throat> well, what do you guys want to do? Are there any windows here, or is it just the door? Oh, yeah, there's totally windows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you would have to walk on the grass to get to them. Okay, so it's not... Oh, so it's not like there's not a porch or anything. It's just a... Right, there's just a door. Yeah. If we yeah. have spell casters, the door. the door said to cast a spell at the door. Do that. Should we? Okay. You don't I have to... hammers. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a step. I'll, I'll go up to the uh, the door then. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe like, five, like 10 feet back or something. On the carts? Um, yeah, on the carts. Um, uh -huh. I'll, ca I'll cast. Wait, so what is it? It said cast a spell at the door. What did it say, guys? It's I couldn't hear it. I was all the way out the here. Yeah, I couldn't hear it. Who's, who, who, who heard it? Wait. I did. It said to cast a spell at the door. It said in the presence of the door. Yes. Or at. Okay, I guess I'll go next to it and I'll just point at the door and cast color spray. You color spray the door and the door swings open. I'm showing you that there is a small, quaint little house inside. The most prominent feature of which is a staircase in the back of the house that heads down to a sub-level. Um, let me bring the map up for people to see here. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So in the back of the house, there is a stairwell. Uh, over here is the kitchen area. Over here is the, um, what do you call it? Uh, like a storage area. There's a bunch of closets and like stacks of firewood and whatnot. There's a, a fireplace over here, which is long burned out. There's um, some tables for eating over here and some more like, you know, a, a coat rack and some stuff piled in this corner. It looks like a bedroom and all the other interesting things are downstairs. All right, I, I wave everybody over. We go forward. I the carefully curves. move forward. All right, one by one, you can creep into the house without 
Any molestation. Yep. I love my size compared to the house. Yes, you <laughs> are, the door? are very awkward. It is a, you know, a lean in to get into the door. <laughs> are you having fun with the bushes, Neil? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Can I make the outside of this house look good? Playing The Sims, fair. Uh, all right. What, now that you are all in the house, what would you like to do? I use my aura of detecting magical auras. There's too much magic in here. It's confusing. Ooh, you eyes. can't tell what's magic and what's not. Ooh. There's just stuff. The the chairs are magical. The carpets are magical. The windows are magic. Everything has some sort of magic on it, and it is just a nightmare of various auras conflicting Ooh, with each head, other. Uh, yeah, everything in here is magical. I will well, there's magical auras on everything. I, I'm definitely going to look around to see if there's any scrolls or anything, any any wisdom or knowledge of, of magic here. Mm, there is a recipe opened over next to the kitchen area um, for magical chicken, but after reading it, it kind of seems like it's just a really good chicken recipe, and there's no <laughs> actual magic involved. Could we like use I, that I bird person's corpse for it? I, I still take it. Okay. It's worth it, <laughs> just in case. What was the, the question about a corpse? Yeah, McTaxi's character, is he basically like a chicken for cooking? Well, uh, the meat's gone bad by now. Really? Okay. Um, no, I mean, it's, it's only been a day, thing. right? It's not I even mean, a day. Meat goes bad really quickly, unless it's cold. Really cold. What time of year is it? <laughs> Autumn. Autumn? It's pretty cold. Yeah, I guess... I don't know if I would want to eat chicken that's been lying on a roof for a full... Well, he died at night. Now it's, it's also morning. Like, it's also not like uh, like open meat, right? It's like a, a corpse with skin on it and shit, which pre preserves it more, I believe. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you could try and make it with his body if you would like. It's a bit risky. It's a bit dodgy. Yeah. But, you know, humans survive for tens of thousands of years without refrigeration. Could probably do it. Because they killed things and ate them immediately. Yeah, yeah. Like everything else. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, maybe if you cook it long enough, maybe if you burn the shit out of the chicken, it'll be okay. I, I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist or a butcher, mm, and I know nothing I about know. cooking, so... Probably. Uh, it's probably fine, maybe, maybe not. I stand at the stairwell and listen. Do I hear a snoring wizard? You do not hear a snoring wizard. Okay. I go, Hello! Is anybody home? No. I am home. <laughs> hmm. Should we go downstairs? Yep. Uh, Who wants to go again. downstairs first? Sorry. Magic boy. <laughs> <laughs> I nod towards the stairs. <laughs> For Ephra. <laughs> I go down first. <laughs> All right. You take a step on the stairs when they shift under your feet. Give me a Heck. Uh, saving throw versus spell. Heck. I don't like this house, guys. Yeah, it was a bad oh. house. <laughs> Yikes. You the the stairs go from stairs to a slant and are covered in grease and you slide down them. Uh, me for Ephra. Give me a uh, falling to your death scream. We. You slide down the stairs and into a small spiked wall at the bottom of the stairs. Oh. Shit. oh. And oh. as you're sliding, there is an accompanying magic mouth that appears above you saying, Warning, this area is off limits to get visitors. It's not very well positioned. Uh, you will take nine damage as you slide into this wall of spikes, oh, skewering I yourself. Good thing we napped, eh, guys? I can't heal that. <laughs> I live. Okay. Uh, as you regain yourself, the stairs sort of shift back into regular stairs. There's a, a small landing and then a second staircase that goes down back towards the direction of the house. So the first one went like this way, then it lands, and then it goes down this way again. You know what I mean? Like it's a wrapping around. Yeah, yeah. 
Guys, that wasn't as fun as it sounded. I am hurt. That is when, upstairs, the tables and chairs begin to move. They start hopping, bouncing from leg to leg, closing in on the existing party members. And we'll have to roll initiative against the very furniture itself. Well, okay. This isn't, this isn't even relevant. God. <laughs> <laughs> the quest is somewhere else. You're just exploring some random wizard's we'll just, house. We'll just we expect that. On this woman's hey, house. It's pretty yeah. fun anyway. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a good way to go out. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to get one, two. And I need a table as well. Oh, okay. Need. <coughs> uh, she. What's the speed for heavy crossbow? It's just one, I guess, because it's probably preloaded. If it's preloaded, it can be one, but then yeah. every round thereafter, it's like eight or something. Yeah. So we've got some chairs. We're going to have another small, like, uh, call it <laughs> over here. And we're going to have another chair over here. And maybe a couch over here. There's my red couch. There we go. And these are the things that have animated and come to life to attack you all. And we are rolling initiative against these critters. And the first thing to go is this table over here. It will bump into Rich aggressively. (laughs) Uh, But you manage to sort of step away from the table as it bumps towards you. Rich, it's your turn. Um... The furniture, this is exactly the, like my nightmares. <laughs> we, we were taught about this. We were taught about this. Stay away from the, the magic furniture. I can just, I can't, I can't like push back behind you guys, I guess. Just leave, just leave out the court door. And then I'm gonna shoot the uh, the chair right there. Don't All leave. Right. Just give me a roll Don't to hit the chair. <laughs> Eight. It hits the chair and quivers into it, uh, you know, doing no damage. Matthew's Next downstairs. Up, we can't leave him. Well, get him. Next Max up is another chair. Slippery. It bumps oh, towards Randall, no, where no. it throws itself at you, Randall. What's your AC? 16. It knocks harmlessly into your armor uh, and then keeps bumping into you over and over again like a confused Roomba. The <laughs> next chair comes over here. And bumps into Norris, Norris. <laughs> with a a miss. It also just kind of hits your shins and does nothing. Callie. Uh Callie is going to move like right here. Mm-hmm. Um provoking an attack of opportunity? No, the chair is okay. not get attacks of opportunity. <laughs> I'm going to take this uh position, this superior position to toss use my rope use proficiency to toss mm. a ro- rope out towards mm. my, my magic boy. <laughs> <laughs> and now you understand why your name now is Magic I Boy. Natural 20. Oh Ooh. yeah, you throw a rope down there and it catches uh, well, I guess it doesn't catch around his horns because that's not the intent, but it lands right next to him. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to back out here. Wait, did you tie the rope to something? I mean, I'm holding I the rope. I, I, I've got the rope in my hands. <laughs> is that, that going to work? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to car- make a strength the, check. Okay. <laughs> the table comes over here. And it will come to this spot and bump in. No, it'll come to this spot and bump into Norris, uh, with also a terrible miss. So it's just kind of like leans into you, awkwardly, like unstably. Now it's only on two of its four legs, pushing against you. The couch will knock into Randall. There we go. That's a hit. Randall, give me a strength check. Uh oh. 
Oh, the table does really good. The table shoves you backwards five feet. Make me a dexterity check not to fall prone. Uh-oh. Oh, you fall on your butt as the, the couch hits you and knocks you over. Uh, Norris. All right. I get out my two swords and start attacking the furniture in front of me. All right, <laughs> make me rolls to hit. 22, 10, both of them hit the table. Uh, anything a crit? Sure, the 22 is a crit. Yeah, all right, so. Yeah. So that's 3D, that's three times damage total. You destroy the table with your swords. You break it to splinters. Uh, a chair comes and tries to knock you over. Are we sure these things are that dangerous? These, these things haven't actually hurt us at all. It just sort of knocks into your shins a little bit. <laughs> Randall, it's your turn. You're on the ground. The couch is looking at you menacingly. <laughs> What's <laughs> half my movement to stand up from being prone or? Uh, yeah. Okay, I do so. Um, I look around to whoever's left in the house. What's the plan here? Are we finding this wizard? She seems powerful enough to cast a sleep spell on the whole town. Come out, come out to the cart area. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think maybe we shouldn't destroy her house. And I'll step out to the cart area. Okay. You have decarted. Um, <laughs> Matwa? <laughs> so I had rolled with my sledgehammer because I want to fuck up some of these spikes so that if I fall into it, I don't immediately die in a horrible, horrible death. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's also you can, rope. To... If you want, you can sledgehammer these spikes for a little while. Doesn't yeah. seem like any furniture is coming for you. Okay, or do you yeah. want to climb up the rope? Well, considering that did nine damage... Mm -hmm. It seems like I'm more at risk than them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm going to hammer me some wall spikes. Sure. Uh, let's say there are nine spikes arranged in a three by three pattern. And you can, uh, without damage to yourself, destroy one spike a minute. Because your sledgehammer is a big weapon and you're kind of in this narrow hallway. So it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, so with no checks needed, you can just destroy these spikes one minute at a time. Uh, so nine rounds to destroy them all. What? That's your... Hmm? Huh. Yeah? That's I mean, lot. they're just they're well, just in the wall. Each round is a minute. Yeah. I figure, like, with a sledgehammer, I'd be able to, like, knock, like, a lot the, of them. The problem is that you can't raise your sledgehammer to its full height in the, the room. You're a huge minotaur, right? You're a very large creature, and this is, like, a human-sized house, and you've got this weapon that needs, like, a lot of room to swing around, so instead of making, like, just, epic like, swings, whoosh, you're doing, like, whoosh. Kish, kish. Wait, like, how big and hard are the spikes? Because couldn't I just, like, clush them? They're, like, metallic spikes that are sticking out of the wall. Like, have you ever tried to make a repair to a house, but you only have, like, four inches to move your hammer, so you have to, like, tap, 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 to slowly pound the nail yeah, like, in? Yeah, I'm thinking, instead of, like, because I'm not hammering them in, right? I would, like, hold it at a, like, if this is the hammer, hold it like right, this. Right, right, you want to... Clush. Right, but the thing As is that... I'm washing the wall. You're your head like you already have to hunch over to stand in here and then okay. your sledgehammer can't really get very high above you so you only have like a foot or so to swing to the first spike so it's going to be like multiple blows on this thing it'll take a while but you can do it for surezies because there's nothing in your way there's no threat to you it's just awkward you're too big okay. and you've got a big swinging weapon and you're like in a hallway well and also i recommend taking a shovel into a, a narrow hallway or a narrow stairwell and try and like <laughs> sure, effectively you're, you're, beat the walls. Like my entire argument is that you're assuming that I'm swinging and not just like, like I mean, I'm it, about this is the... this is all under the assumption that the spikes yeah. are like a certain size and like you could you could actually do it in one swing. Like maybe it takes multiple swings for yeah, one spike. And they're like nice big metal spikes. They'll take a while. This it's gonna okay. take a while. Okay. I mean I feel These like are... I got time I'm not dying, so yeah, you're not gonna die. It'll be fine. You just start hammering away at them All as right. the furniture continues to come after our player characters. This table comes over here and tries to knock into Rich and misses. Rich, it's your turn. All right, I'm really not that concerned about these these furniture. I think I think maybe it's these are like helpful furniture, maybe trying to get us to sit on it. But I'm just gonna move up. I, I can like try to. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a chair though. Uh -huh. like, can I like, do I have to make an attack roll or something? Uh, yeah. Attack roll against AC 10. Um. You get a hold of a chair and lift it up very easily. 
All right, and then I'll I'm gonna move and just throw it into the the grass here, into the entangled grass. All right, the chair lands in the grass and is entangled. <laughs> um, the next chair comes over to Norris and knocks into Norris, and it hits you, Norris. Give me a strength check. Oh, oh okay. shit! You got to beat like a twenty nine. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I gotta roll a ten or better. You have nineteen strength. No. Okay. Eighteen dash something. I guess your point bar system, yeah. Uh, that's fine. Natural <laughs> one. You are knocked backwards and prone. Are you You're on your butt. His characters as the tape, the chair comes and hops over you. The next chair comes over to you. Actually, to this side, and uh, well, easily hits you. Give me another strength check. Uh, uh, oh, that's thirteen plus eighteen. Well, the, yeah, the eighteen over eighty-four is doing a division. So you're, okay, you're, decimal point. Sorry. There we go. That'll be fine. That's a thirty-one. Mm. Give me a second strength check because you're on your on the ground. So let's do them at disadvantage. All right, it's only a twenty-eight versus it's. Yeah, it doesn't knock you any further. You're just there. Yeah. Uh, Callie, what are you doing? Climb up the rope. You got inspiration. You can just roll an advantage on this. Um. <laughs> uh, and I uh, chill out in the carts. All right. The couch comes and aggressively knocks into Norris again. Uh, it hits you. Give me another strength check, Norris. The couch is much stronger than the chair. 37. Uh, but not that strong. And Norris, it's your turn. All right. Uh, um, I stand up with my movement. And mm -hmm. I do three attacks. Make three attacks. Hit, crit, crit. Um, hit it again. Oh, and it another double crit. Wow, yeah. You, so, what are you attacking? How many, how many, uh, well, the couch is bigger. Give me your, uh, the first is just a regular crit against the couch. All right, I'll, I'll do the first damage. Yeah. It survives. What's the next one, a super crit? Or it is a, yeah, crit? three times damage dice. 19. You destroy the couch. All right, and, and I'll a chair. The, last, and, uh, yep. the chair in front of me. Yep. You destroy the chair oh. as well. Uh, chair outside is grappled, <laughs> and it's Randall's turn. Well, I guess we're destroying the furniture again, so I'll go back in. <laughs> if I can get here and attack this chair. No problem. You go from cart to cart to cart to doorway, and give me an attack roll against the chair. You yeah. miss the chair. <laughs> It uh, is hopping around on its legs and is surprisingly difficult to hit. Uh, Martois is still destroying spikes, second spike down. Uh, when the next table goes and tries to slam into Randall with a hit. Give me a strength check, Randall. Beat a 12. What, what did I come back in here? Or a 13. No, Actually, I don't know yeah, no came problem. Back in here. <laughs> Rich, these aren't very threatening right. furniture. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm just gonna go around and I, I'm, I'm just gonna grab the other chair, I think. Okay. <laughs> it is trying to avoid you, so you got to make AC 10 yeah. attack roll. Easy. You grab the chair, you chuck it outside. Yeah. It is also uh, now entangled. Callie? I think Callie's just going to, you know, it, take this moment to appreciate the day. And we'll look at the sky and I'll pass my turn. Okay. Norris, okay. you're going to destroy the table? Yes, I'm destroying the table. <laughs> they knocked Molly's me over. Molly's going to be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> well, I run character sheet. I opened up core again. I keep opening up core. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, first attack. Easy crit. Right. Uh, that's easy crit in two destroyed the well, furniture uh, is no more except for the other furniture that's not active yeah you know well I, I with my other attack i attack some non-moving furniture <laughs> you destroy a lamp it's yeah. fine uh, yeah. the furniture defeated <laughs> the party does what now looks down okay. the stairway it, it, the minotaur attack okay <laughs> um okay 
if you hold on tight, we can pull you up. I'm busy. <laughs> you hear Stop the destroying the house <laughs> sound of metal on metal as Martois continues to destroy the spikes at the end of the trap staircase. <laughs> They've done more damage than the furniture. <laughs> Why don't you just tie that rope to one of the wagons out there and he holds the rope and we can just get down safely. We hold on yeah. to the rope. Oh, no, we can, no, 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 let, let him at it. The, the spikes must be animated as well. That's what, that's what this whole trap was about. It wasn't about the furniture. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about in the spikes. We know that for sure. I just saw some stairs turn flat. I don't know. Is there anything else spikes. down there? Or is it just spikes? <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> all right um is anyone injured upstairs no all right no need oh. to heal right. i'm done killing my spikes yet <laughs> nine minutes pass the spikes are dead <laughs> all right, Long all right. the spikes. i attempt to climb back up bloody and victorious give me a saving throw versus spell <sighs> i told you you should just let us hold you up <laughs> All right, you start to go back up. Uh, the floor gives way and slips out, but you've got this rope that you're holding on to, right? Yeah. So you can hold on to the rope and overcome the like near to zero friction coefficient of the stairs <laughs> that is now a, an inclined plane and make your way back up to the rest of the party. <sighs> that was not amusing. All right. I look around, it's like a room of broken furniture what the hell were you guys doing did you find the wizard down there what's down there death he said all bloody with holes in him i'm gonna I try destroy, echoes of magic destroyed again destroyed the danger if you destroy uh, the danger try, can we go down and yes but watch your step i'm gonna take some of the ruined furniture and chuck it down the stairs right to like build up like a bunch of extra space right that'll mm -hmm. that'll stop us from hitting sure. the wall yeah you toss some furniture down the stairs excellent is there cushions yeah. you can do the, you just throw down some cushions the couch had some cushions <laughs> that are mostly feathers now but you can <laughs> toss them down as well uh james what you were gonna cast a spell i uh, echoes of magic i'm gonna see if it's any different without the magic furniture okay you see um with some of the furniture gone you can notice that a section of ground over in this corner is specifically magical, a like five by five section of floor. All right. Uh, anyone with a breach weapon, we'll poke that yeah. square. There's something in magical in that corner. Dish it, like the staircase is magical. Yeah, on the staircase. Uh, there's yeah. like magic on the, all of the windows as well. Each of them is magical. The door is magical. There's a magical carpet over here. There's just much, there's a bunch of magic shit. There's magic carpet over there, guys. <laughs> I stand on the carpet and I command it to fly. Oh my God, why would you do that? I know you're trying to make a joke, but it's a carpet of suffocation. Mm -hmm, it's another mm -hmm, trap mm -hmm. of the, you might just lose your character right here. Yeah, oh God. Yeah. Oh no, I've got to look up carpet of suffocation. Wait, have terrible, we not terrible terrible item. this whole time? Not on the carpet no, that haven't. was over there. No one's moved their character no, no, token over there. there. Oh my God, hold on. You're gonna get a saving throw at the very least. And then got, maybe the party I, can fight it, but otherwise it's going to struggle struggle against you. This is what you get. This is well, what you, you see. You, you got inspiration. Just going to go step on it. Perfect. Ephra would be proud. Ephra, Ephra is proud. And I'm okay with Carpet. this. Carpet. Not castle. Who uh, has a carpet of suffocation in the corner of their house? <laughs> Molly's the gonna same come up. The person who Everything traps their house trapped. with like magical animated things, Evard's black tentacles in the yard, <laughs> fire traps on the windows. They just you know, like just, anime. They just like anime. <laughs> I, I, what, this, this, guys, this isn't surprising at all. My, I trapped my dorm room exactly like this. You get, you always got, <laughs> always got to watch out. You never know what's going to happen. You never know. Yeah, because it's the bane of this world. Yeah. A uh, rug well, I'm just wondering what traps in the windows, guys. <sighs> Can people help me with this? <laughs> oh, you got advantage, so you got that much at least. <laughs> Use your flipping inspiration. I gave it to you early on because I can give them out over and over, but you haven't been using them. <laughs> okay, hey, the finely woven carpet resembles a carpet of flying and detects as magical. The character sitting, standing on it, whatever, 
and giving a command is surprised, however, as the rug of smothering rolls itself tightly around the victim, suffocating the unfortunate one in 1d4 plus two rounds. It specifically pretends to be a magic flying carpet? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm reading this from the book. Oh. And also, it doesn't do anything unless you command it. Oh my god, exactly what I did. Okay. Exactly okay. what you did. All right. I deserve this, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, it starts, like, tightens around you, and you begin suffocating. The party right, well, has uh, a certain... You rolled literally nothing. It's okay. up to the party Ooh. to save you. I can't um, you guys to have it? an unknown amount of time, real world time, before he suffocates. Mm -hmm. I have rolled for it. Okay. Um, we'll start the clock in... We'll, we'll just start now. I'll give you an extra 10 seconds. Go for it. All right, okay. Um, uh, strength to cut him out. Um, with let's what? cut the carpet. With what tool? Let's go. I attack with the carpet. I try to slice the carpet with my uh, swords. All righty. You take a sword to the carpet, being careful not to cut your friend. Um, I'm not being too careful. I'm being so <laughs> careful, okay? Because um, I want to get through that carpet, and carpet's thick. Okay. If he gets cut up, I'll heal that, because I'm not going to do over a five wound to him. <laughs> yeah, so I get no strength or anything or swords? Damn. Uh, uh, you so bring it's... your blade against the carpet. The rug itself cannot be fitted. It can only prevent it's it. It's not magical swords, so I'm not sure it's going to work. Um, yeah, it? your non-magical sword. Oh my God, is this, this can't be right. Your non-magical sword uh, cuts against the carpet. A few of the threads fray, but this thing is surprisingly strong and resilient. It's definitely not normal right, cloth. Right. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Next action, next person. Uh, Callie. Callie looks at the sky, like just uh, admiring the day. Our friend suffocating in here. Where's that pitch you had? Let's burn this carpet. Uh, uh, I told you to try to break with the house. I'll try to brute force it open now, Neil. Okay, give me a strength yeah. check. All right, I'm sure this is actually going to be hard, actually. Nope. Mm. Can I help him, I guess? I don't know. Sure. Is there that barrel of pitch outside still? Yep, it's still outside. The two of you working together cannot make a difference. The carpet tightens closer around the Minotaur, whose muffled screams echo out to you. <laughs> Do I get anything for being sized large? No. It's meant to like go around a man. He does have sharp horns. I do have sharp it horns too. Is suffocating you. <laughs> uh, Any other ideas? John, like, what do you got? <laughs> I'm dipping. <laughs> I'm, I take off my tunic, dip it in the pitch, bring it back inside. Uh -huh. So it's like dripping in pitch. And then uh -huh. I, I want to locate wherever his mouth is, and if I can tell. I don't know if I can tell. <laughs> yeah, mouth. yeah. You can see the feet are on this end, the, the head is the on horns. that end. <laughs> the horns are yeah. coming out over here. So it's pressed against his face, so you can find the face. So wherever I judge his mouth to be, I will light a torch and light this thing on fire and then put it next to the curtain mm. and see if it reacts, catches fire. So you you set your pitch cloak <laughs> on fire and wrap it around where his mouth is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. It burns. Uh, you're going to need to give me a saving throw for the cloth against fire. Roll me a 1d20 and you want to roll below a 13. But it has you pitch, do right? it. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's got the, the pitch, which helps it burn easily. The carpet sets aflame. And luckily, you manage to get him out just in time with 15 <sighs> seconds to spare. Uh, he gets a up. gasp <laughs> of breath. <sighs> Poor Ephra. <laughs> Inspiration, mate. Inspiration. <laughs> we get to the carpet. We're just going to read the full text of this carpet mm -hmm. because it is fucking OP as shit, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't even... Um, I read it once, I just couldn't remember the details of it. <laughs> just it mm. is a terrible, terrible item. I don't know who, who would design such a thing. This, right? <laughs> well, it says who made it. It says where it's Ollie made, made it. The rug cannot be physically prevented from wrapping itself, and it can only be prevented from smothering its victim by casting one of the following spells. Animate object, hold plant, and wish. <laughs> Not limited wish, what? full wish. And hold full plant? Wish. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I thought I'm fire fine. would also work well, so that's fine. Yeah, well, thank you, Neil, for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
It There's a magic stop. I have another magic spot in that corner. Don't stand in it. Let's oh my god! Don't figure out what it is. <laughs> what does the spot look like, Neil? Martho hasn't learned. The spot in the corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It yeah. just looks like regular, um, like a regular patch of floor. The magical couch was covering it before, and now it just looks like regular floor. Is anybody standing near it? No. Nope. No one's in that square. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> But like, is there anyone close enough that I could accidentally shove them into it? Uh, not from this angle. Okay, just asking for a friend. You would have to come over here to accidentally shove Rich in its direction, but um, that would be very conspicuous. Well, he, he's not standing there. He's standing in the back corner where the carpet was. But yeah. I guess yeah. I guess you're over here. There you go. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, players. Okay. Let's We've come this far. We got to see what's in that basement. <laughs> but the, was I grab the sleeping the dog that we have on the cart and I throw it into the corner. Not oh cool, man. God. Not cool. You throw the it's sleeping dog fine. into the corner. Roll me one d six for the dog's falling damage. While what, I roll. How hard did I throw what? it? You well, threw. You, you said throw, you throw you a just, dog, right? You said it's like falling damage. One damage. Okay. It's not probably fine. I haven't rolled the dog's HP yet, but we'll just assume it's alive until I find its HP roll. I'm gonna heal it up after. Kill a dog by throwing it. I'm gonna heal it, luckily. So I'll catch it in time, Neil. Like I want to <laughs> argue against the damage, but I do have 18.91 strength, so <laughs> I can't. <Yeah. laughs> you yeah. finish the dog. Just like full speed against the. <laughs> It's a and free I'm like, HP gentle. dog. Push. And I like that my character is almost as strong as him, but half the size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's some strength issues to be worked out with the game, but that's fine. Uh, you toss the dog in the corner. It hits the ground with a thud. The cleric goes over and heals the dog's uh, cracked rib. The dog yeah. is still asleep. And Nothing the floor happens. didn't react with the cleric or the dog. Correct. Well, I didn't step in the five foot square. I'm not I think different. you did. Um, can I get a d20 roll from both Martois and Norris? All right. 13 for me. Three for me. And let me find a thingy over here. It's not your name. I'm still a bird token, but yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no problem. Yeah, so as you heal the dog, Norris, you notice that there is something odd happening over here. Um, being this close to the, the section of the house, you can see that the, wall, the ground here is at a very, very gentle slope. And you recognize this because the dog's tail sort of like clips through the ground in a way that there is impossible. Ah. Secret passage. I try, um, uh, I get my sword and try to poke through where the, s the slope is. The secret, yeah, is on the, the end that is against the, the back right corner is raised ever so slightly, maybe like an inch or so, and your sword penetrates that inch and then hits something solid below. Uh, wooden stone, wooden, wooden. Hmm. You will disbelieve the illusion. Is that a thing? Yeah, go ahead, give me an intelligence check. Or uh, no, a, a saving throw versus spell, something like that. Saving throw versus spell. Yeah, yeah. Nah. I believe it. Well, I'll, my sword's going through it. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, the the sword Wait. is going through it. It's an illusion. It's definitely an illusion. You can see it, Rich. Yeah. Um, there is a, a handle in that back right corner. This is a trap door hidden by an illusory wall spell. Cool. I I tell them that there there's a there's a handle there. It's a, just a. Uh, I move the it. dog. <laughs> Do you move the dog. It is it's no longer in the way. Yeah. Yeah. What's the dog's name? Uh, this one was Kenny. Kenny. Cat. Yeah. yeah. Good Kenny. Someone grab the hatch right. or the handle. Well, I can't see the hatch. <laughs> I feel, right, okay, I right feel for the you hatch. It I don't see the hatch. I feel for the hatch. Um, you can find it with your hand. Wait, okay. Does it lift inside toward what? What ways? It lifts Where's up. The hinge. It lifts up. Left, right. With... It lifts the this way. I move so out the, of fire the blast handle, range. Actually, 
<laughs> the handle is yeah. back over here, so it will lift um, in this direction. All right, all right. Everyone, formation, get out of view of this thing. It's going to be a fire trap. <laughs> now, now, I'm blessing myself, so I've got plus one to heal. I can I give inspiration to No, I can't give inspiration to myself. But, but... <laughs> Minotaur leaves the entire property. <laughs> I've been through some shit, Neil. All right, all right. I lift the hatch quickly. It opens with no fire trap. All right. Okay. You see a staircase, uh, not a staircase, a ladder heading mm -hmm. straight down. A size medium stair um, ladder so the Minotaur can't fit. It will or... be a very tight squeeze for the Minotaur. It will take many minutes for the Minotaur to squeeze down here, unless you can cover him in butter or something. <laughs> I have cheese. Yeah. I don't think that's quite the same thing. That is chemically enhanced uh, butter, I believe. <laughs> okay, okay. Biologically uh, enhanced butter? Uh, Rotten butter? I don't know. Cheese is sort of just moldy milk, right? Yeah. No. Just, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Is it not moldy milk? Uh, moldy. Yeah, I go down the ladder, Neil. <laughs> okay. You proceed down the ladder. Make me a saving throw versus spell. All right, all right. <laughs> I should, have, I should have saw that coming. Yeah. <laughs> His house is oh great. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> what? What of the is not pleased. ladder rungs is illusory as well, uh, uh, and you go to put your weight on it and slip and fall and smack your face against the wall and tumble to the ground. You will take one d six falling damage. Um. John, why don't you roll us 1d6 and we'll see how much damage James oh, takes. No. Oh god. Oh no. It's in your hands. Oh! oh. Right. Um, okay, I start healing myself. Okay. You One minute later, I'm up. fully healed. Uh, you're at the bottom of this about 15 foot pit or so, and you can see that a hallway stretches out in this direction. Okay, but there's a hallway down square here, here. Yeah. and there's a fake rung on the ladder. I do you want to know which one's the fake one? <laughs> uh, it's one of them, you know. Okay, I, I put my hand on each of them until I go through one of them. All right, you you can climb back up and find the illusionary one. It's like the fourth rung down. Yeah, I mark. I mark. Get another save versus spell. <laughs> I'm not using that rung. I'm marking it. So How can you mark it? It's not there. It's oh, fake. Oh. Mm. All right, the fourth one down, Spike. Okay. Everyone. There we so go. Okay. Down. I go down. Right, let's one down. Go down. All right. All right. One by one, you can all head down here. Uh, it's going to get very cramped as soon as the second person comes down. So someone, Norris, is going to have to walk into the hallway. Yeah, I'll walk once. Oh, wait, I poke the ground first. <laughs> I poke the ground first with my sword. Okay. It seems solid. Look It's not sticky. It's not trappy. No, just... it's not sticky. It's not okay, trappy. Okay, now, guys, if this thing starts closing, we've got to... Escape real fast. Can you not see Magic Man? Magic Man? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Echoes of magic. You cast Echoes of Magic. And um, what's the range of it? Uh, aura 13 feet. Yeah, there's no magic nearby. Except okay. for that one rung. Yeah, yeah. What? Well, it's nothing right. 13 feet, but. Before I go down, I stick my head out of the door. Callie, get, thing, get in here. Thing, We're going down. <laughs> hey, I'm not going my... back in that house. Hey, uh, you, so... know, you could have probably just detected magic, I think, when you were going down the, the ladder, I think. Yes, I could have. Yes, indeed. Yes. <laughs> mm, that is a good point, Rich. But I can also Beautiful. heal myself up. So let's keep moving. Can you heal me up? No, you took over um, five points of damage, so I can't heal you. Useless. I know, right? <laughs> I'm by way, and if, and if I level up, it's still got that restriction. <laughs> All right. Um, I take one step into the corridor, Neil. Yeah. Excellent. You are now two steps into the corridor, I believe. Hold on. We're going to have yeah. to do a little bit of a, a okay, zoom in okay, here. One square into the corridor. Yeah, now. here we go. So we're going to just do this is the, the ground, the underfloor now. So Norris is All down right. one step into the hallway. Randall is the second person down. Rich, are you the third person coming down? Yep. Was yes. that a no or a yes? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yep. All right. Norris has to take another step over and it's fine. Randall moves yeah. over. Rich moves I'm down. Uh, okay. Callie, I... are you still outside? <laughs> I are you, just... are you, 
Cal is just going to start whistling and then I think start doing some yoga poses out here. Okay. Just you start, can chill. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Uh, now it comes time for Martois to come down the <laughs> stairs. No, you stay up there until we clear the corridor, okay? But be too I can hard for help. Us to escape. Yeah, yeah, but you'd stop us from escaping. Would Ephra is... want me down or up? What is cooler? Uh, it depends on the scenario. We haven't got the, all the facts. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you can, let's talk about this room that you're in here, or this hallway that you're in. Because it stretches like this, and then does something like that. Hmm. All right. Well, something well, like well, this, um, except for the fact that there is a door right here. Mm. It's a door. And it could extend further for what we know. Yeah. 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 Is there a light down there for them? Yes, it is magically lit. Okay. Mm. Bright as daylight. Oh. Yeah. All right. Like every five feet, I'm doing my um, aura. Sure. To yeah. see within 15 feet what's magical. Yeah, when you get to this area, you can see yeah. that there is something magical beyond this door. Beyond the door, but not the door Beyond itself. the door, right. Because I think you can see through a little bit of wood. Um, so you can yeah. see through the door to something, a small thing, magical beyond. Uh, there's something small magically in, uh, in through that door. I step up to the door, Neil. All right. I'm, I'm going to duck, I would say. <laughs> I haven't opened it, I haven't opened it uh, yet. Randall and Rich, you're both still at the very back of the st uh, yeah, hallway? Yeah, they are. They okay. sure are. All right, Norris, you get to the door. It's a wooden door against a wooden frame. Uh, is it a turn handle or pull handle? Uh, it's a, turn. what do you call it? A lever handle? Yeah. Oh, all right. All right, um, I'll get some rope tied to it and back mm -hmm. up. Ah, uh, but you'll, oh. you have to, it has to go up or down to be turned. It straight out mm. won't work. You're going to have to turn it by hand. All right. Um, okay, first detect magic, see what's to my right. Uh, to, okay, why don't we just talk about what's to your right? Um, yeah. This is some sort of, like, very nice, uh, elegant, like, studio or study or library. There's some books around. There's some tables. There's some um, uh, crevasses with, not crevices, but a cravat, <laughs> crevasse. Uh, you know, uh, there's some liquor bottles lying around, some glasses. This looks like the room that one would come if they wanted to research or just kick back and relax. There's mm. a, um, a strange glass contraption half filled with water. All right. Guys, there's like a parlor here. Hmm, yes. Okay, I move up oh. one square to the north. You ignore the door with the magic behind no, it? No, no, I'm not ignoring it. I'm detecting magic because <laughs> my radius is 15 feet, so I couldn't okay, hit the yeah, whole yeah. room. Oh. I want to see my surroundings before I commit to an action here. So anything else uh, magic? There is a door here and a door here, but no magic in the room. No, there is a, a magic bottle um, right, okay. sitting amongst the, the glassware. Mm. All right, I'm not really worried about that for now. So what, okay, this door to my left, uh, behind me, I mean, because mm -hmm. my token's turned. I can't turn this, I'm at the wrong zoom again. Uh -huh. Zoom, I, I, I fixed it, all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. what, I, where's the handle exactly? On the, on left, the right the side? On the right side. Yeah. So it turns away then, I can't just so go it'll... into the around. Yeah. I, I knock on the door. Hello, is this occupied? No answer. All right. Okay, guys, I'm stupid, and I open the door. You open the door. Uh, before yeah. you is what looks like um, an outhouse. There's a small uh, little bench uh, with a, right. a it, hole in it. Not... Yeah, I guess right. Yep. <laughs> Occupied. All right, yep. close the it's... door. Okay. It, the there's door. something magical in there, but I'm not stepping in there. <laughs> magic right. bathroom. Yeah, magic I'm gonna bathroom. Walk. I'm going to walk push past you and i'm gonna to go to the study yeah, go on yeah go on, go on. i'm interested i i can't even wait any longer while well, you're go ahead go yeah. ahead go ahead i go the and room's I'm cleared. everything i'm yeah, you, yeah. i'm looking for magic information spells uh well this is a gold mine for you a black gold mine as it might be uh there are all sorts of books on all sorts of topics there's a couple of um large encyclopedias with just lists of magic items and descriptions about them uh, this 
this is a powerful wizard's personal study. The knowledge in here could level you to seven, no problem, <laughs> given enough time. Uh, anything good, Rich? Yeah, it's every, everything. This is, this is exactly why I came with you guys, specifically for situations like this. This, is, this was a good decision. To, well, well, I didn't even get this, paid last time, but I, I don't think I care. I don't think I care. Uh, this flask here is magical. Do you know what it is? No, I don't, I don't care. I don't care about magic items. You can have it. No, I don't want to pick up something that's cursed, so yeah. That's, that's good. I'm yeah, sure. How many traps are in this I'm building? I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, then you take it down, then the monkey gets angry, then everything explodes like Aladdin. What do you do, Randall? Uh... <laughs> I, I just start taking one of the most interesting books and I'm going to put them in my backpack. Well, okay. nothing else um, here in this room is magical, so you should be give safe. Give me an intelligence check to see okay. which books are the most interesting and best ones, because there's a lot. It'll take yep. you a while to even read all the names. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know which ones you're looking for. Okay, not a problem. Uh, right. Back upstairs, Martois, what are you doing? Pacing, mainly pacing. Okay. Uh, Martois, it's clear to the first room. You can come down if you want. All right, well, time to if squeeze and look out for that fourth that fourth thingy. <laughs> it's so tight. You squeeze and shimmy and push yourself and you end up in this uncomfortably narrow hallway. It was not built for a minotaur. It was built for like a small woman. And you're like stuck against the wall, but you can do it. I did it. Uh, um, so you... this Molly's just really good at traps. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I smell the room at the end. What do I smell? Nothing. It doesn't smell like an outhouse at all. It smells... Like nothing. It's I the cleanest outhouse you've ever. Disbelieve illusion. Give me a saving throw versus spell. Oh. It's real. It's really not stinky. Mm. <laughs> She's pooping in extra dimensional space. Probably. I throw something so, into the toilet. Just a very to special the... bag of holding in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just wondering if it's like portal to the demon world. It's just coming out there. Jesus, that's why they're so pissed. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay, let's do some mechas of magic on the door next to me. Anything in the next room or the door itself, Neil? Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. Mm. All right, open this door to have a look inside. You open the door. It is a wine cellar. There are uh, bottles of wine, bottles of brandy, bottles of beer, bottles of vodka. I guess it's not a wine cellar. It's a liquor cellar. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. As well as some uh, uh, jars with various herbs and spices and, you know, that sort of stuff. Right. That's all within 15 feet, so I'll... Uh, okay. I open uh, Rich, the door can you step of you. out of the way? I'll try the door in front of you. Uh, Rich has already opened... Not Rich. Uh, uh, Randall has already opened the door, and it is a staircase Randall. headed mm -hmm. down. Oh, another staircase. Check this one out. It's probably going to fall beneath our feet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Anything solid in this room we can tie a rope to now? Mm, the Me. doors? Me. The people? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. If you hold this rope, I'll tr I'll try going down the stairs. I will hold the rope for you, Ephra, friend. Mm. Blessings upon thee. Mm. And you got a plus one to your next save and throw. <laughs> nice. I need it. Yeah, you didn't Meanwhile, use it last time. <laughs> outside, Callie is doing various yoga poses next to an unconscious dog. <laughs> Hello. How's it going, Callie? Oh, we're just, uh, you know, we're uh, doing some yoga out in the on the street. Couldn't be better, really. Cool. Not You're not better. in danger at all. I guess that's the goal. Not, uh, nope. Yeah, Callie's a super reasonable person. She's not going to be just all stumbling right. around and dangerous wizard's house. <laughs> All right, okay. Back over here, uh, it's time for the staircase. Who wants to go down? All right, I I'll, hold rope. You hold the rope, I'll go down. You went down the next last stairs, so I'll go down the least. It stairs. went not good. <laughs> All right. Mm. <laughs> okay, I tossed my light stone down the stairs. You don't need to, it's brightly lit already. Oh, yeah, yeah. So can I see spikes at the bottom? No, there are no spikes at the bottom. 
What's at the bottom that I can see from this perspective? The staircase goes down for about 10 feet and there's a landing. Uh, and uh, then the stair, it, it looks like it goes to the right. Like there's a, the landing uh, heads rightward. All right. Okay. Uh, any magic on the stairs in front of me? Nope. All right. I go down the first landing, then take, cast again. All right. You easily make it down the first landing. You look yeah. to the side and it is a landing with another staircase headed down this way. I check those stairs too. There is no magic on these stairs at all. All right. I head all the way down those stairs, checking every uh, 10 feet. <laughs> we'll find out what happens on the other side of a break. Bye-bye, everyone. If it